Hey there artist. Um, this week I wanted to come to you and do a tutorial for a long-term drawing project that we're going to start. Um, so this project is going to combine a lot of different skills um, and techniques that we have used in the past. And so I think it's going to be um, a really successful project for everybody, um, but it has several parts. And so for this first week, um, we're just going to kind of get our general foundation laid and then um, going forward next week you can either meet with me on live and we can proceed or um, you can work ahead on your own using this tutorial so um, stick with me and let's get started okay guys let's go ahead and get started um, for this I am using a pencil um, and just a plain piece of computer paper any paper will do um, but, uh, we're going to do a lot of erasing for this project. So you're definitely going to want something with a good eraser. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw uh, a horizon line on our paper. So not, um, about halfway, but maybe about, um, I don't know, three inches up from the end of the paper. And I'm not a robot, so it's not perfect. It's not perfectly straight, but it should be as straight as possible. And I'm drawing darker uh, than normal today just because I want you guys to be able to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm just going to create right now um, some lines down here. And I'm going to do these ones pretty light because I want to erase them. Um, we weren't so we made the horizon so this is like the wall and this is going to be our table where our bowl of fruit will sit so what i want to do is put a series of lines down here um, to create the illusion of space so find what you think is about the middle of this and just kind of like put yourself a dot and then from this horizontal horizon line, um, we wanna make a vertical line coming from this point midway down to the bottom of our paper. And I'm gonna do it pretty light. Let's see if you can see it. You can, awesome. Okay, so we made two lines um, and this one is perpendicular to our horizon line. Um, it's parallel to the sides of our paper. So from here, we're going to create a series of straight lines, but diagonal, and they're all going to come from this point. And, um, on the left side of the point, they're going to go off in towards the left corner. And on the right side of the point, they're going to go off towards the right corner. So they don't have to be perfect because again, we're not a robot. You don't want to make them too close together. I would do at least two finger spaces at the bottom. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I start here, I stay as straight as possible, and I go off to the edge. Okay, so I want to do, so if it helps, you can like give yourself a guideline. So they are diagonal. They are as straight as possible. If you need, you can always use the edge of something that is um, straight. You don't need a ruler per se because we don't wanna measure it. We just need a straight edge. Okay, so this, what we've created, this is called the vanishing point. And all of these lines lead back to this. And it sort of looks like we could walk into this space and we could go back towards this point. So we've created some depth and illusion of space. And now what we want to do is create the base. So we want to create it pretty wide because um, so, we want enough room for our fruit, but also we want enough room for pattern um, of around it. So we don't want it to run off the page. We don't run it to be super huge into this space, um, but it's pretty simple. It just starts with um, a curve, a curved line, and you wanna try to kind of make it even. Um, and I'm gonna make it pretty low to this, let's see. There we 
there we go. That's it. Okay, and from here, I'm going to kind of make a little line coming down from both sides. And then I'm going to kind of come out closer to here, and I'm going to try to kind of match it. Okay, easy peasy. And then I'm going to kind of come down and let's see if I can't scoop all the way around. Just like a giant smile line for that. This is my fruit bowl. Really simple. We're going to use lines to kind of make it look different. Okay, so now we need, we want to put it on a stand. So you can make it more elaborate, but I'm just going to kind of do something like this. Boom. Okay, now all of these lines inside of my bowl, they need to be erased. They need to go away. So I, um, we could make this a glass bowl, um, but we don't want to. We, we don't want it to be transparent. We want it to be opaque. So I'm going to take some time and I'm going to erase these lines. Um, always remember, guys, when you erase, you want to uh, use your hand as a guide. You want to make the triangle of safety and you want to erase only inside of your hand like so. So I'm going to go ahead and erase these lines. All right, guys, I went ahead and I erased the lines inside of my bowl. Um, notice down here at the bottom, I did leave these out. So do not erase these um, unless, of course, this goes to the edge of your paper, but you probably shouldn't make it fall off. Okay, so inside of our bowl, we are going to create fruit and we don't want the fruit to kind of spill out and overtake the page because we need space to create our Zentangle line work um, around our fruit. But what we do want to do is overlap our fruit and um, we can, if we want to, choose to use this space. So maybe you hang some grapes over the edge or you hang a banana. Um, or whatever you want to do guys but um, I'm gonna go ahead just remember simple shapes are key for the fruit um, I have some tutorials right now up on the channel for simple fruit doodles if that helps you but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch maybe let's see I'm gonna come Maybe this is a leaf. I'll do an apple. Okay. And then maybe down here, I'm going to do coming from here. A lemon, because that's very simple. Let's see, a lemon kind of has like something up here at the top. Very simple. And then maybe there is something back here, like an orange, maybe that's very simple. Here's like, okay. Okay, let's try for a banana. Let's see, a banana sort of has maybe like the top part and then it comes down. Let's have it, hang. let's make it hang. Okay, and then maybe from here, there's like another banana. Where would I put it? And it comes out right down 
here because it's like behind. And then let's see, we've got an apple, we did an orange, we made a lemon, we did two bananas. Um, we can keep building if we wanted to. Maybe I'll just put one more. I don't know, guys. I don't think I really need another one, but maybe if you just wanted a bit of height. Um, so it's important that you, if you are going to keep building, let's make another lemon. It just makes sense. So we can make it longer. A lemon, maybe that's too pointy. Sometimes you just really have to look at your drawing and see what would make sense. Okay, guys, I went ahead and added the lemon. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one more thing, which is a pear just to add variety. Um, and I erased any part of the bowl that was bisecting or intersecting a fruit. So fruit, um, they're again, they're not transparent, they're opaque. So you need to make sure that you erase the edges in the right way. Okay, so this week, um, we, you need, my hope for you is that you get at least this far. I have for you a sample of other drawings um, that you could, other types of bases that you could create and other ways to draw the fruits. Um, I mean, there are endless possibilities for stacking the fruit, drawing the fruit. Um, here is, now this one still has the line work in it with the vanishing point, the horizon line. Um, but this was another fruit vase, fruit bowl that I drew. So there are a lot of options and I have a lot of pictures for you to look at and use for help to draw, but I just like this one and we're not um, done with this. I want to do some line work inside of this. And, but I just want to um, first make sure that my fruit are where I want them and that these lines are where I want them. And um, if you get this far, that's awesome. Um, and if you so choose, you can also do detail work in the vase or the bowl. Um, I have a plan for this just because I saw something that I like and I want to show it to you now. So what I want to do is I am going to create a rim for the, oh, I don't know, for this. So I like to like pick up my pencil and then drop it back down where it should go on the other side. Um, so I want to create a rim and then right here, I want this to kind of look like this is coming out and then going back down. So I wanna create another line from this point to this point. And I don't want it to be straight, but I don't want it to be really curved. Um, so, let's see. Yep, okay, draw light until you get it right. And sometimes it's okay to kind of visualize, work your way back and forth. Um, okay, looks good so far. All right, now let's see. I wanna add something down here to make this area pop a little more. So I wanna kinda of add, I'm gonna add maybe right here. A stripe that I'll color in, color in the bottom. And you want these lines to be curved down here. That's what helps this shape look more round because it's not a flat shape, this is a bowl. So a bowl is a solid shape, it holds volume. Okay, and then let's see what else. I think I'll make uh, maybe a line down here and again I want it to curve and then maybe I'll make another line 
And this week is all about pattern. So there's lots of ways to create pattern. There are lots of examples um, in the projects, uh, examples that I linked for you. However, you can also watch um, mine and, or you can create your own. So I think for this, I want to, I saw something that I really liked. And so I think I'm gonna kind of make these slightly curved, except for the middle one, just kind of like the bottom that we did. But these I'm gonna curve the other way. It's like just a very slight curve. Okay, just very slight. So when it was on the left side of the middle point, they curved inward. When it's on the right side, they curved inward again. So they flip off. All right, maybe in the middle of that. I'm going to Let's see, what else can we add? Let's go back down here. I like to sort of repeat or kind of pull the same patterns. So I like to alternate, I like to have a slight variation in the pattern. That's part of the key. So these, they face this way, these, they face that way. Um, and then I think the only other thing left to do um, is Sharpie work. So when we, another way to create variation, to create interest is by varying the thickness of the lines. So when we use our Sharpie, we can um, sort of make certain areas thicker and we can use dots, which is called stipling, um, to make shadows. And I think for now, for this week, um, this is as far as we wanna go, guys. If you have um, any interest in going further, you can use the examples that I've linked for you um, as reference, otherwise, Next week, we can push beyond and we can start zentangling. Good work today, artists. Awesome job.